Greetings YouTube! Have you ever wondered what type of filter material is the best for a DIY face mask? Have you been confused? So have I. We're going to find out what material is the best at filtering for a DIY face mask. We're going to take a look at a kitchen paper towel, a cotton round, two inch cotton round, a dust mask, some type of stretchy material, a surgical mask, a cotton t-shirt. Are they effective? PM 2.5 filters, charcoal, activated charcoal. Got these on the internet. They claim to filter down to 2.5 micron. And finally, your typical facial tissue. And the way we're going to test these materials is through this device here that I have built. Inside this plastic tube, I have a particle counter that can measure particles of diameters down to 0.3 micron. I'm going to take a piece of the filter material, place it there, attach the top, tape it down, and when we're ready to test, I'm going to turn on the PC fan. And air is going to be drawn in here through the filter material, and we're going to find out how well each filter material filters. This is the setup that I used. The hardware consists of a Wemos D1 mini dev board attached to a PMS particle sensor via UART and a 16x2 LCD display connected via I2C bus. I ended up using the PMS serial library for Arduino. However, I modified it to put the sensor into active mode so that the time between sensor reads would be as small as possible. The rest of the components consist of a water bottle and some 3D printed components that attach to the bottle in order to make things work. A 12 volt PC fan is used to draw air through the filter here I'm building the grill that the filter media is going to be placed between.
Now we are about to begin the filter testing. A few more details about the setup. The ESP8266 publishes the data via Wi-Fi to an MQTT broker and a custom PyQT application subscribes to the topic in order to bring the data into my laptop. Links to the GitHub repository and all the source code are in the description below. With regards to the tests, I ran each test until the 0.3 micron particle count no longer decreased. filters to perform so well. I got them on AliExpress and they were shipped from China. They are intended to be used in face masks that have pockets for a disposable filter. 
The results of all the tests are in the following table, and I've calculated the percent effectiveness for each filter material at filtering each diameter particle. The table on the left shows the measurements taken from the particle counter at four different size bins, 0 0.3 micron, 0 0.5 micron, 1.0 micron, and 2.5 microns. The table on the right represents the effectiveness of the material at removing particles of a particular size. Keep in mind that the common N95 masks are supposed to be at least 95% efficient at removing all particles that are at least 0.3 microns in diameter. So what have we learned? What results can we draw? Well, any face covering is better than no face covering. And even the worst material is about 50% effective at filtering out 0.3 micron particles. A cotton t-shirt can filter out around 70% of point three micron particles. The worst performing material was the stretchy dust mask. And the best performing material was the PM 2.5 filters which were 96% effective. The common and inexpensive surgical mask is pretty good at filtering out small particles with an 84% efficiency at 0.3 microns. And finally, most of the materials tested were good at filtering out the larger particles 2.5 microns and above. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.